Welcome to Unit 12, students. This week we're going to cover chapters 31, 32, and 33. This week we're going to learn the subjunctive mood. Now we've been in the indicative mood all the way up until now. The indicative mood is sometimes referred to as the mood of reality or it's action that is actually happening. Now we're going to introduce you to the subjunctive mood. And this is the mood of possible action. I should go to church next Sunday. You see how it's, it's not action that has happened, but it's action that is potentially able to happen. Then we're going to introduce you to the infinitive. Now you're going to like the infinitives because they are not inflected. That's one of my uh, favorite uh, elements of the infinitive when we get to this point and you've learned all these inflected endings week in, week out, and now we finally get to one little verbal form that doesn't inflect. Now you will learn a different ending for the different tense forms, but the infinitive is an all-important type of uh, a verbal form that we need to learn and learn it well. And then thirdly, we're going to look at the imperative mood. And again, this is the mood of volition. In other words, when a command is given, uh, the person has to be willing to respond to, uh, to that command and obey it. So uh, therefore, it's also uh, one of the contingent moods, as they're often called, it's potential action because the other person has to decide to either obey or not obey the imperative. But you're going to want to learn the, these moods because you're going to see them so frequently throughout the Greek New Testament. So learn these lessons well and uh, enjoy your week of study in your Greek.